previews are underway. Yesterday, we featured the state champion Hendrickson Hawks. Tonight, our Ruthie Polinski with a look at Cranston East. After going 9-2 and two a year ago and losing to Portsmouth in the quarterfinals, the Cranston East football team is setting their sights high for 2017, especially with a large group of seniors making their return and hoping to lead this team all the way to the Super Bowl. We have a real good senior group, and a lot of the seniors, we have a three-year starters, you know, which will certainly help us. And, um, and we have a good junior group that played a lot last year as well, so we have a good mix of juniors and seniors. A lot of kids from our freshman team are now seniors, so we've been playing for a, lo a long time together. The Bolts lost four significant players to graduation, but the majority of the offensive line returns to the field, and the veteran presence is good news for second-year starting quarterback Justin Neary. You know, certainly can trust him at, at that position, and uh, he handles the offense real well. You know, last year he had a great year. I mean, he threw 26 touchdown passes, and I don't know if he ran for another six. You know, so he had a, he had a real good year, and he's got some weapons that he can you know, certainly uh, take advantage of and utilize. Most of the kids are back this year. Our freshman team was pretty good when I was a freshman, so I think we'll be pretty this year. One of those weapons, a LaSalle transfer, Raven de Oliveira. We're excited about him. You know, he's he's known these kids for a long time and uh, he certainly will help us. In his 15th year of coaching the Bolts, Tom Centauri is excited about this group and says this year may be different. It's just a lot of versatility on this team that we, you know, we, we haven't had in a long time. The guys say the key to this year's success, hard work and focus. Reporting in Cranston, I'm Ruthie Polinski, Eyewitness Sports. Thank you, Ruth.